One of the key discussion points at Davos this year was artificial intelligence. So it should come as no surprise that machine learning also infiltrated the cultural programme. Rafik Anadol presented Dataland, the world's first open source generative AI model exclusively dedicated to the natural world. Rafika, it's lovely to see you. We're here at the World Economic Forum, right in the heart of the Congress Center with your work, Dataland. Tell me about this innovative artwork that you're presenting here. So we are here right now in front of an artwork, actually research work, that we called right now one of the most advanced AI model dedicated to nature. So what we are seeing right now, an AI trained on more than 50 million flora, fauna, and fungi information of a rainforest. So we are calling this large nature model, an AI trained on sound, image, text and scent. We can make an intelligent form of AI that is safe, ethically data collected, and can be used in education and research. But what is really challenging at the moment is how we can preserve nature is a really strongly challenged problem. Um, but the good news, we have incredible museums like Smithsonian, National History Museum, and hopefully National Geographic. These institutions have been recording nature, and we are partnered with them to really understand nature. Rafik, you're in control of everything. Show me how it works. Yes, so if I click this button, we can easily see, for example, the bee clusters. And we can click and see underwater like, you know, uh, creatures. We can see all type of beautiful like butterflies. Our hope is truly like bring new perspective and find ways of looking data from a new perspective. And I do believe the more we demystify data, the more we have a safe and secure space. And I think nature is again a so complex topic and it requires requires new ways of thinking. How do you think the metaverse will transform art going forward? I think ideas like this that are born in the digital and stays in digital is a very much exciting. And I do believe this type of generative reality, a place where we can hear, see and smell the machine dreams or like ideas or worlds. And also there is no physical constraints. There is no like Newtonian problems of our physical life.